Law FM. Today is Monday, March 6th, an odd day. I'm Michael. And I'm Tyler. And in today's announcements, get ready for some basketball and lots of fun. The FM March Madness 3-on-3 three -three basketball tournament is back. It will be on March 24th and 25th at the high school. Sign up at the FMASBC.com as soon as possible to secure your team's spot in the tournament. Registration ends March 15th. Hope to see you there. Attention seniors, please check your email for a Google form requesting the elementary school you wish to go to for the senior walk after graduation rehearsal in June. The email is from Mrs. Murphy and the form should be submitted by Friday, March 17th. And now over to Mike. Thanks, Tyler. The MCs are hosting a school-wide volleyball tournament on Thursday, March 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. Sign up using the QR codes around the school. All members of the team must sign up. The cost is now $10 per person and all funds go to Camp Good Days. Guest forms for the Dance Marathon are located in the SAO House 2. Guest forms should be submitted to the SAO no later than Friday, March 10th. You've heard, of, you heard a number of times that Dance Marathon raises money for Camp Good Days and special times, but how does that really affect the children and families who have been touched by cancer? Jack Dixon and Mara McBride sat down with June, a Fayal first grader, and learn about her great memories that will last her the, her lifetime. My name is June, and I and um, I go to Fay L Elementary School. So Kian was uh, our second child. He was born in 2019, and um, when he was four and a half months old uh, on New Year's Day, actually in 2020, after about a month of uh, throwing up, he, we brought him to the hospital and a couple days later he was diagnosed with an aggressive brain cancer. So June, what's your favorite part of Camp Good Days? Um, it was swimming with my brother and we actually get it in to swim a lot and it was my first, first time ha having my brother swim and it was his first time swimming and so it was a really exciting time for both of us. Luckily because of COVID, we had a lot of horrible things happen because of COVID, but one of the great things was they, camp, in fact, Camp Good Days actually had family programs where our whole family could go. So I reached out um, and they were wonderful. From the first minute uh, they worked with us, Kian had a lot of medical needs. Um, we weren't actually able to travel anywhere um, because we had to bring us oxygen, concentrators, and a number of machines. So the first time um, that he ever danced was, was um, I taught him this move, <laughs> and and then he and he was trying to do it, and it was just like this. And when we got to Camp Good Days, he was a little boy. He was interested in new things. He was yeah. so excited to see other kids and just be somewhere new and look out at the water and his first time swimming. Oh, there's people that understand you there or that can actually help with what happened and oh, well, having cancer have to struggle, you oh, you can actually have more fun activities that help you oh, and if you have cancer, it's easier to do them and it's also funner or when you can do something that you're able to do. Thank you to June and her family for sharing their story. Hopefully that shows you why fundraising for DM is more than just getting in the door that evening. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Michael. And I'm Tyler. Have, have a great, great day, day FM. FM.